Guys, right here we have two very cool off-road trucks, which are very different. The full-size truck, of course, is the Ford Raptor. And right here is a brand new Tacoma TRD Pro mid-size truck. That's right, but even though they're very different, they actually have a few things in common. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to do this video. It's a golden age of trucks, Andre, and these are badass off-road trucks. But once again, they have some surprising things in common. Yes, and let's hit one of them right off the bat. And it's actually what's underneath the hood, right? <laughs> Same displacement? Yeah. Can that be? Just wanted to point something out right away. That is not a functional hood scoop, and the Ford does have a functional heat extractor, I believe is what they call it. There but you go. both of these trucks look cool. They have graphics. Uh, they're premium off-road trucks. Yes, and you know what else they have? Same displacement V6s. Yes. Three and a half liters right here in the Tacoma, 278 horsepower. Of course, the Raptor has a few more ponies. Uh, yeah, well, it also has two turbochargers on it. I mean, it's an intercooled turbocharged beast. This is naturally aspirated, rather simple by comparison, but it still has uh, twin injection, right? Yeah, and also these two trucks have something else in common. They're best sellers, right? Pretty Indeed. much. The Tacoma in the United States is still top of the midsize segment. The F-150, it's still by name, you know, one of the best selling trucks in the full size segment itself. That is correct. Now there are some major differences, obviously. Now this one is a six speed manual transmission. They do not offer a manual transmission in any Ford truck actually right now. That might change in the future, we hope. But the Ford has a 10 speed automatic transmission. Once again, this is a three and a half liter engine. Very dusty because it just came from Moab. Now we're definitely in the same light. It gives me crazy how it buries that tire into the rear fender flare. Like, did not, did Ford not try that? What the heck? Yeah, so that's a mixture of Moab dust with a little bit of Colorado dust. Now, there's an interesting thing about these trucks in terms of price. Yes. And that is something that we were a little surprised about, and it has to do with viewership, right? Yeah. Explain. So uh, I actually got an email like just a few days ago. You purchased a crew cab Raptor truck 2020 model for about 57 grand. And then I got another email saying, wait a minute, I didn't buy a crew cab Raptor. I bought a brand new uh, extended cab Raptor for 54 grand. This Toyota, if you fully just load it and load it, you can get it into the low 50s, around $52,000. So if you think about it, in terms of price, the disparity is a lot closer than we thought it would be. And of course here, uh, both trucks are quite fun to drive. 450 horsepower here versus 278 in the Tacoma. But Tacoma has the manual, which is engaging. And it's only one of two pickup trucks in the United States currently being sold with a manual transmission as an option. The other one is the Jeep Gladiator. Yeah, now let's talk about off-road goodies, right? Because both of these trucks are basically premier trucks for off-roading um, and also overlanding. So if you're looking for an overland truck, right, Nathan? Uh, I mean, these are two good choices. Of course, you know, co quite expensive choice, a little bit more affordable choice, but people are building up Tacomas to, you know, 70, $80,000 ranges. Well, one of the reasons why is because Tacomas are known for their reliability and the fact that they are super, super strong. And I used to own one of these, a first generation Tacoma, and I agree, really, really strong truck. Of course, the question is, are you willing to spend $50,000 on a truck like this and then add more stuff to it? Um, we're not. We actually spent a lot less money, at least right now, on a much older Tacoma, and we're building that one up, and that is the Baby Yoda product, uh, project, which is available on TFL Classics, I think, is what we're doing most of it on, right? Heck yeah. Um, so let's talk about some um, actual specs, right? right? So both of these trucks have very specific suspensions for off-roading. Uh, lots of ground clearance and also a great approach angle, like you can see on this Tacoma. Also, very strong protection. You can see the TRD skid plate. Um, on this Tacoma right here. The Tacoma offers about 35 degree approach angle, which is pretty excellent. Almost best in class. Almost. For midsize. Fox shocks. Slightly, not much wider suspension than the regular Tacoma, but I think there's a little bit of an offset on the wheels. And then of course there is a Raptor. Yeah, now we're talking about a 30.2 um, approach angle, which is really good. And for a full-size truck, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Everything that you're seeing in the front of the Raptor is bespoke to the Raptor. It's not sharing any of its components with your regular F-150. That's even including the bumper and the way it's designed. All of it is designed for off-roading. And the one thing I really do respect about the Raptor and the TRX, which is its competitor, uh, is the fact that even though, okay, there's stripes, but everything here really does perform a function. Unfortunately on the Toyota, <laughs> it has that fake hood scoop, but other than the fake hood scoop, everything else is fairly functional. This, everything is functional. This is actually taking heat away from the engine. Massive grill here needed to cool the engine. All of these components, lighter weight for a front end, uh, better approach angles the way this is designed. All of this stuff is made bespoke specifically for the Raptor. And just to add to what Nathan was saying, uh, unique suspension on the Raptor. Of course, it's a wide body on purpose because of wheel travel. Also, these very, very sophisticated Fox shocks. So both trucks are actually using Fox for their suspension systems. The Raptor is using this live valve technology that's adjustable on the fly by the computer or the driver. Um, the shocks on the Tacoma are not adjustable, um, but it's still quite good. But the suspensions actually have another side effect, which is payload, right? That's right. And remember we were talking about how they actually have a couple things in common? <laughs> One of the things they have in common is abysmal payload. When you buy an off-road truck and you get the soft suspension, that does affect payload. And in this case, we're talking about, I believe, 945 pounds payload <laughs> in the Toyota. It was about 995 pounds in the the Raptor, so they're within 50 pounds of each other. Considering the fact that these are pickup trucks, that's not a great payload, but the trade-off is you have a really good off-road vehicle with really good articulation and really good suspension. And what a lot of guys do, Tacoma guys and also Ford guys uh, and gals uh, who purchase these trucks, sometimes they do play with the suspensions, right? They add either like helper spraying, something else, you know, they modify them, sometimes they even lift them. So in, in that way, these trucks are also very similar. Tires are a whole different story, right? Tires are very different. The Tacoma from the factory comes with these tires. These are Goodyear Wrangler with Kevlar, and they're not very big. They're between like 30 and 31 inches tall and not super aggressive, but still strong tire. And we've actually taken this truck, actually both of these trucks off road quite a lot. Yeah, and, including in snow and ice. Yeah, and actually these tires do okay. They do okay. They, They're actually much better on the street, wouldn't you agree? Uh, these are really good street tires that can go off road. And I think that the Raptor tires are really good off-road tires that do okay on the street. Go ahead and show those, would you? Absolutely, dude. And of course, the Raptor has what they say is a 35-inch tall tire, so quite a bit larger. Um, but these are mud and snow uh, rated, B of Goodrich, uh, all-terrain KO2s, and they're also snow rated. So actually, yeah. this is a really great tire, premium tire. And we've shown this truck also in the snow, um, in the sand, on rocks, in Moab etc right um, every everywhere you know what i've been impressed with on um, both of these trucks i've taken both of these on the highway at high speed and even though they have you know pretty beefy lugs they're not that loud which is really good especially with these bfgs which i expected to be much louder on the road speaking of loud why don't we fire them up and hear the exhaust note because they both have unique exhaust notes <laughs> And finally, technology, starting with the off-road specs and tech, right? Both of these trucks have very sophisticated four-wheel drive system, low range. The Raptor has also four-wheel drive automatic mode, very clever, limited slip front differential, rear locker, cameras, adjustability for steering and transmission and all of that. What does the Tacoma have? The Tacoma is an interesting mix of new and old because, well, with the manual transmission, there's not a whole lot going on. It's actually a very simple setup in terms of four low and everything else. But if you got the automatic transmission, you can get the eight track system and crawl control. Basically think of it as something that can do terrain management. And at the same time, it's like an off-road cruise control helping you go over obstacles, especially for people who are not used to doing it. It's a fantastic system and it works quite well. Not the only car company to make that, by the way. And on top of that, when you get the manual transmission version like this one, you don't have that. You basically have your foot 
which is great for those people who like old school driving especially what is what, what's the gear ratio with the manual on this it's really good yeah the crawl ratio on the tacoma is about like 44 to 1. yeah the raptor is a little bit better but they're kind of equal on crawl ratios yeah especially considering the the weight difference between the two of them it should be interesting to see um what the future will bring with these vehicles but for now they're pretty damn good the way they are so here's the question dude if we found two trucks a ford raptor maybe slightly used at 50 grand yeah. versus a tacoma at 50 grand which one would you choose you know why very simple has a manual transmission option and i really like the character of this truck it's not the most comfortable i'm more comfortable in the raptor by far but this truck is just so much fun and i love the size of the truck for off-roading it's a great size for off-roaders all right nathan you hug the tacoma i have to hug the raptor uh, as you know, I'm a sucker for technology and also I'm a sucker for power. This is actually quite fun to drive, 450 horses. So if I could find one for 50, boom, ka-ching, I think the Raptor is my truck. Well, there you have it, guys. We wanted to bring you in on something that is similar and at the same time extremely different. And that's exactly what these trucks are. They have similarities and they're completely different. And both of them are absolutely extraordinary off-road. By the way, the, these shirts are still on sale. These are Duck Company shirts, so check them out using the link below in the description. You can get these. We're also starting a new kind of a drag race series, uh, TRX Versus. Yeah. So stay tuned for that on TFL Truck as well, where you guys can bring your high-performance truck and go up against the TRX in some drag racing. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks again.